Africa, a continent as diverse and beautiful as the people who live here. 20% of the world's population live in Africa. One billion people living in 53 countries that spread across an area larger than the United States, Argentina, Western Europe, India, and China combined. African pastors are called to minister amidst extremely difficult circumstances. Training and preparation must be equal to the task. In Zambia, 75% of the population is under the age of 20. Across Central Africa, over 40% are under the age of 15. 40% of Africans have moved from villages to towns, and that is expected to increase to 60% over the next few years. Africa needs African leaders in the African church who are deeply rooted in the Word of God. We are looking for men whom God can use to spearhead a mighty indigenous movement of God across the continent of Africa. We are looking for the elite forces of Africa who can come and be taught in English. These men will be given the Bible study tools and the personal experience to go back to their homelands as leaders. Central Africa Baptist College has been called into existence for the express purpose of preparing men and women for ministry in Africa. We would like to see our students, our goal to see our students, leave Central Africa Baptist College with a, a biblical understanding of what uh, church planting ministry is all about. These men not only receive their academic training, but daily discipleship in local ministry in the African context. To achieve this goal, each student will be assigned to work in the local church or outreach ministry during his time in college. Uh, my name is Edward Monisa. I am a Zambian. I'm Francis Kaunda. My name is Kwenda. Kwenda Kwenda. My name is Andrew Matoke Ogeto. My name's uh, Sandala Mwanje. My name is Kenneth Wenai Nambugwa. I'm from Nairobi, Kenya. I'm from Zambia. I come from the uh, city of Lusaka. And I'm um, right now living in Zambia and ministering in Zambia. I come from Nakuru, Kenya. I am from Zambia and uh, I come from Ndola. I come from Kitwe in the country of Zambia. When God calls a man, he equips him for ministry. Initially, when I uh, accepting God's call, I, I knew that uh, God wanted me to pastor a church. And that, I think that would be my primary calling. Uh, but then as time went by, as I joined, especially when I joined Bible College in 2005, uh, that is when I really saw the need for uh, serious theological training for young men in Africa. Uh, I, I, I sense the call to the ministry, I think um, uh, a year after I got saved. You know, I shared it with uh, my family, but they didn't welcome it. They, they, they just said, you, you're joking. I was like, the one who was looked up to, someone who would be, would in future take care of the family. That's my sisters and uh, the other guys, but the aspect of going into ministry, and the guys are looking and say, what are you doing? Don't you have any, anything else that you can, you can do? Can't you just look at your family? They need you. But really, it's at the end of it all, I think God is working he's, he's in his own way. Um, I started ministering in 2001. I came to Central Africa Baptist College, I think, in 2005 five or six, um, and then uh, I can see the difference. I have seen the difference uh, in the way that I minister. I, I can say that the college has added an, an age in, uh, in the way that I minister, uh, especially in my interpretation of a Bible, uh, in my relating to the flock, and uh, I have seen that I have become more effective in my presentation of a truth uh, because I've learned the skills of presenting the truth 
So I can say that the college has been of great help to me. I really wanted to go beyond discipleship. I wanted to really get a good grasp on uh, uh, what uh, really the Bible would uh, bear upon my heart. And more importantly, God having burdened my heart for theological training. I said, then I need something serious. And then, uh, so I think coming to CABC, that began. My particular burden really, uh, I think even then, has been for uh, the right proclamation of, of, of the gospel and uh, the doctrine of the Bible as it is. Um, and the burden grew as I listened to our TV uh, evangelists, you know, they, they are sharing a scripture and you know, thousands of people are hearing them, but this is not the gospel. I think the Lord wants men in this generation who are really called to do his work and uh, who can handle his word correctly and give it to the people as it is. I think the best way to describe what God has imparted to me as far as CABC is concerned is showing me how important his word is and that the ministry he's calling me to is a ministry of the word and the power lies in the word and my task is to be faithful to the word and nothing else. It's simply to take it and to present it as it is in the most clear manner to his people. And one thing I love about Central Africa Baptist College is that their focus is not in any way to diminish any efforts at local church level. For example, Bible Institute. Institute. No, 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 no. But their focus really for a man like that, it is to train them and even lay leaders later on in their church to be better equipped for, for the ministry of a, of, a, of, a, of a local church in our country, in Zambia and Central Africa as a whole. It is our passion that every graduate of Central Africa Baptist College goes back to their homeland and they are committed to spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ, winning people to Jesus Christ, biblical gospel. And then that they're also committed to making disciples, to exhorting, to edifying, to building up those new believers. And we firmly believe that if there's biblical uh, evangelism and biblical discipleship taking place, the, the natural outcome of that will be that those new believers will come together, they'll want to come together to fellowship, to, to study God's Word, and churches will be planted across Africa. Central Africa Baptist College has been called into existence for the express purpose of preparing men for the New Testament gospel ministry. The curriculum has been structured to fulfill this purpose and the faculty is unreservedly committed to this goal. Graduates will have the necessary tools and content material to enable them to take leadership positions and to fulfill their calling adequately, whether it be in the home, the pastorate, establishing local churches, the mission field, or in Christian education.